Uh, hi all, I am going to talk about my course uh, which is MATLAB for Financial Engineering. I am still working on this one but uh, here is an outline that is going to help you to prepare uh, for the course. So the entire thing can be divided into three aspects which I have pointed out here on the screen. So this, the first part to know in this course is to understand the basics of array matrices and structures understanding all those uh, complex structures that could be built, understanding cell arrays, understanding the functions like uh, uh, what the function is taking in which is known as the argument, what it is returning and a function can take in anything, it can take in numeric string, it can also take in some arrays or uh, uh, some structures uh, it could take uh, a fixed number of input, it could take uh, uh, a number of uh, input which could be dynamic then there would be some loops in MATLAB uh, indexing means to uh, search uh, some of the things from the arrays and the structures depending on some criteria so th this is the first uh, step that you should uh, look into when you move ahead with the course and uh, when you are good with through then you can move ahead and understand some of the aspects which are linked to these uh, uh, basic concepts which is like data handling it would require you to understand a little bit of functions loop a little bit of arrays and as well as visualization and some of the other functions so to start with you should make these six topics clear and when you are done with that then you can check out the application of these six topics in some of the examples so the step one is to understand this thing given in blue step two is going out and checking out these three things step three is uh, getting a little info on some of the theories of uh, finance which is uh, the ones that I want to cover are derivative fixed income FTS and portfolio so th that this step would work the best for you so I've divided my f course into like three dimensions where I keep on developing on these things as well as I keep on talking about finance. So what I'm thinking about here is to make some test which you can take on Wizik. This is my course link. Then you can check out the slides which are uploaded there. Then attend the small session, take a post class test, and look at a small assignment which would be to make some uh, .m files. So th this is how I plan to move ahead. Now even if uh, you're not able to join my course or move and you can use the same strategy uh, just google these six areas understand it have a look at them check out some of the examples and check out their applications and then move on to uh, these uh, five toolboxes okay let's let's look at an example that you could probably see so suppose when you're talking about a financial time series you might have a constructor which would generate an empty object and that object you can assign different values and then you can run all those visualization and uh, operations on uh, those objects so you need to have a little bit idea about what these terms mean what does uh, a constructor means and things like that that would make your life very easy and when we talk about merging two financial time series or doing or taking out some of the values so that would be by using what we have learned in the indexing so whenever whenever we start this financial time series toolbox I I would expect you to have a little idea about these six topics so this is how I've tried to build my course for more details you can check out my blog which is stockcreditfinancecfa.blogspot.com and I've tried to post uh, some of the links there that you might find helpful my course is just on visiq.com 7225 might have a financial engineering which you can check out I'll try to post some link uh, downside of this video thank you for watching this very small video I'll try to move into topic first probably in my next video and talk about uh, these six topics so that uh, you can get uh, started with thanks and see you in the next session